Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Review Flex. In this video, we're going to be talking about Pooh Blood and Honey number two, and specifically Pooh Bear's redesign. So we've got a brand new image we're going to be taking a look at, guys. It looks really awesome. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stay up to date with all the news we have going on around here, guys. And with that done, let's jump into this movie news. Guys, right, so we're going to take a look at this article here from comicbookmovie.com. Winnie the Pooh gets a ferocious makeover in new Blood and Honey 2 image. So, a new image for the upcoming sequel to the low-budget horror parody, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey has been released, giving us a first look at the Bloodthirsty Bear's terrifying redesign. Yeah, guys, so, obviously, this movie coming out of nowhere, taking a concept like, you know, a beloved character of Winnie the Pooh, an innocent little bear, and turning him into a horror icon, it's kind of something unique, something fresh, you know, it got horror fans excited, and um, it's just kind of crazy. But um, it looks like they're back for Pooh, Blood and Honey number two. And the budget is a lot bigger. And the redesign of the costume for Pooh Bear is a lot more terrifying. So let's keep reading, guys, and see what else we can learn about this upcoming sequel. So Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, was in the news recently when a fourth grade teacher accidentally screened the horror parody for his students. And we can only imagine how much more distraught those kids would have been if the bloodthirsty bear looked like this. Obviously talking in reference to the redesign for the uh, sequel movie, guys. So, in the first movie, Pooh was clearly a guy in a not particularly convincing suit, but with a budget reportedly 10 times that of its predecessor, uh, Blood and Honey 2 was able to spend a bit more on revamping the murderous mammal's look and making him truly a terrifying sight to behold. Let's check out the still in the link below. Yeah guys, so we've got a Twitter post here showing off an image of the redesign of Pooh Bear. So we're going to hop over to Twitter, we're going to take a more in-depth look uh, at the image, and um, yeah, it looks set to be um, very interesting. <laughs> So let's hop over there now, guys. Yeah, guys, so here we go. Pooh Bear in all his glory. This is the revamped design for Pooh, Blood and Honey uh, number two. And um, yeah, it definitely looks like a, you know, a decent upgrade from what the first movie saw. The mask looked kind of like more plasticky. This one looks more sort of realistic. Obviously, on the outside of his um, his face here, you can see, you know, there's bits of fur. And the director has gone on to talk about how they've tried to add fur, you know, to the characters to make them look a bit more realistic. Obviously, we've got these menacing teeth that are on show here. We've got blood dripping down from his mouth. Obviously, bloodshot eyes. Kind of ominous, appearing from the darkness. And yeah, this looks really, really awesome, guys. This looks super cool. If every subsequent sequel they bring out, if they can revamp the design and make it even better, ever so slightly, each movie that comes out, then I think we're in for a winner. But um, yeah, these movies, you know, you, we have to call them what they are. They're kind of um, cheap budget, you know, C-grade horror movies. But they're just fun. Turn your brain off. You know, Winnie the Pooh slaughtering people. It's a fun time. It's something to do. You know, and it's just great, guys. Um, it looks set to be really, really fun. The first one was awesomely fun as well. Um, as cheesy as it was. But um, yeah, so let's hop back over to the article, guys, and finish up reading what it has to say. So, guys, back over here on the article, we're going to finish off with reading a few quotes from the director. Number two is better than number one in every single aspect because we've gone into this knowing on what platform scale is going. Whereas in the first, we didn't really have much of an idea. We obviously didn't expect it to go to the masses, it did. This time, we've gone into it knowing what will happen, so a lot more time uh, can be dedicated towards it. I've not really worked on anything else this year, and that's why all areas are now a massive jump up compared to the first. Yeah, it's really great to hear this kind of quote um, from the director. He obviously, the first time it was going out, they didn't realize, you know, how big it was going to be. You know, they didn't realize how many people were going to watch it, you know, and it's kind of like a work through, isn't it? The first time you do anything, it's kind of like you're kind of playing it by ear. You're trying to do the best you can. You're going to come up against some, you know, roadblocks. So you're not sure how to, you know, you're not sure how it's going to work. But then the second time around, you're a bit more comfortable. You know the kind of ins and outs of the industry. You know how it's going to work. You can better prepare yourself. You can make the upgrades that you need to. And it seems like the director has done that based on this quote. But let's move on to the second quote, guys, and see what else he had to say. So, for example, the look of the creatures is quite an important thing. Well, yeah, you're doing a horror movie based on creatures. You kind of need to make them look good, yeah. <laughs> um, he continued, Before we had a mask, bought online, some cleaning gloves from the shop downstairs, and a red lumberjack shirt from Amazon. <laughs> That's budget filmmaking. I love that. The whole monster was about £630 or $770, if you prefer. Uh, but this time, we have, uh, we have people doing the prosthetics, it's a company that has worked on Harry Potter's Voldemort and Star Wars. Wow, that's pretty impressive, guys. To go from, you know, Amazon, um, a bunch of props coming from Amazon and a downstairs shop to going to people that worked with Harry Potter and Star Wars prosthetics. 
uh, prosthetics, I should say. Um, that's quite an impressive leap in quality. And um, yeah, that wow, that's, that's quite surprised me, actually. It's a company that worked on the Harry Potter Voldemort and Star Wars, which we just read, sorry. And they've been in charge of that redesign of the creature. And that's why Pooh looks a bit more scary. There's an extra level of detail there. Uh, we're still waiting on a teaser for Blood and Honey 2. But for now, you can check out the trailer for the first film below. Yeah, guys, so you can go on to uh, YouTube. Uh, obviously, you're already on YouTube, but you can check out the trailer if you want to. Um, yeah, guys, so that's kind of where we are. Um, we've got this amazing image here of uh, Pooh Bear for the upcoming Blood and Honey sequel, which looks set to be awesome. It looks set to be real fun, guys. Um, you know, having Pooh Bear and Piglet in the gang kind of slaughtering people. I mean, <laughs> it's a crazy concept, but it's, it's going to be super fun, guys. So keep an eye out for it. Um, if there's any more marketing material, I'll update it on the channel. But yeah, guys, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come and talk some movie news with me, especially Pooh Bear, uh, Pooh Bear, Blood and Honey, I should say. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon.